wouldn't it be strange if someone told you that the color you've known all your life as green is actually blue? That might leave you puzzled for a while until you get to understand why. The world is filled with many cultures and languages, and each influences how words are pronounced, how objects are described, and even how color is perceived. One of such color confusion can be found between Japan and America. In this case, blue in Japan is green to an American. But why you may ask? Keep watching till the end of this video to get a full understanding of why blue in Japan looks green to Americans. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. Don't forget to leave a like and comment below. Also, feel free to suggest any type of videos you would like to see on this channel. Thanks! In many languages, the colors green and blue are collexified, which means they are described using the same term. A linguist known as Nelson Goodman developed a word called GRU to describe this gap, GRU being a combination of green and blue. Sometimes there are complications with the true definition of what green and blue are, mainly because the speakers fail to distinguish the hue. Instead, they use terms that define other color elements, including luminosity, saturation, and other properties of the object they are describing. Here's what I mean. The colors blue and green can be individually distinguished by a speaker, but the same speaker may use the same word to define both colors if they have darker shades. Hence, green may be associated with yellow, and blue can be associated with either black or gray, depending on the shade, of course. According to research done by Brent Berlin and Paul Kay in 1969, distinct terms for the colors pink, purple, orange, gray, and brown cannot be defined in a language until that language develops distinct terms for blue and green. If you were raised in America, you would have gotten all too familiar with the colors on the traffic lights. You see them on the streets, by the intersections, and even in movies. Even your parents would have taught you at one point or the other what each color on the traffic lights symbolize. Being that you are so used to the traffic light colors in the US, you would automatically assume that red, yellow, and green are the norm everywhere else on Earth, but that is far from the truth. In Japan, there is no real green color on their traffic lights. Blue is the color used instead of green. So instead of the regular red, yellow, and green, which you are used to seeing in America, you'll get red, yellow, and blue in Japan. Even though Americans don't notice the blue at all, would you believe that some languages have different words they use to describe light blue and dark blue even though they both are blue? The Japanese language is one language that describes light blue and dark blue as two different colors. In ancient Japan, the same word used for blue is the same word used for green. The word o was used to describe both colors. For a foreigner visiting Japan, road traffic would be complicated, thanks to the unclear right-of-way rules and backwards parking system. Thankfully, the Japanese government have ensured it doesn't get more complicated by making sure foreigners don't get confused by the colors on traffic lights. We'll discuss how they did that later in this video. Just so we're clear on the functions of the green or blue lights, let us consult with Japan's traffic safety guidelines for pedestrians and cyclists. According to these guidelines, the English text states that pedestrians can cross the street when the green light comes on. In the accompanying Japanese text, the same rule states that pedestrians can cross the street when the blue light comes on. In both texts, you will see a clear illustration of a traffic light in which red, yellow, and turquoise looking color is used. For those who don't know, turquoise is considered a bluish green color. What makes it more confusing is that the Japanese word used to describe the GO color on traffic lights is also used to describe a few other things that appear greenish. Therefore, in Japan, you can say blue apples, blue lawns, and blue leaves. Going by language, of course. Let's not forget that there's a place in high-end Tokyo known as Blue Mountain, even though the area is known for its lush green grass. As you can see, the color term A encompasses a few concepts that would be normally associated with green in English and many other languages. As we have mentioned before, the word A originally meant both green and blue in ancient Japan. 
You can call it Gru if you'd like. However, when the term Midori came into use, the color spectrum defined by A uh began to separate from Gru to only blue. As of today, most green colored images are referred to as Midori. Thanks to this new term, at least some of the confusion between describing green and blue has been cleared up. So back to the traffic lights and how this new color term affects it. Going by official data, the very first traffic light in Japan was installed in 1930 at Hibiya Crossing. It would surprise you to learn that the Go color on this particular light was Midori, which means green. But as traffic lights become more popular in Japan, more people started to speak of O oh instead of Midori. I have to mention that in Japan, red, blue, and yellow are recognized as the three primary colors. So that may be another reason why they opted for blue to join red and yellow as their traffic light colors instead of green. Francis Conlon, who was an Australian-based linguist, wrote a dissertation of more than 500 pages with regards to A, ah, and this prompted the Japanese government to try and bring the name and color of the Go light closer to themselves. They were faced with the challenge of retaining the common practice of calling the color A ah, without actually changing it to Midori. So in 1973, a decree was passed which stated that the GO traffic light should be remodified using the bluest possible hue of green. The purpose of this was to make the lights greener but still retain the term AH. The end result favored both the Japanese people and foreigners. This is because modern traffic lights in Japan have a more bluish green touch, which the locals still call AH. But in the eyes of an American, the lights look just as green as every other traffic light in New York. No matter how much time you spend trying to convince an American that the Japanese traffic light is blue, they just won't be able to see it, thanks to the bluish green mix added to it. So, brilliant move by the Japanese government, right? Use blue traffic lights to maintain their culture, but add just enough green to it for the sake of the foreigners. This treaty was signed in 1968 for the purpose of standardizing traffic lights around the world. Most countries have signed this agreement, but Japan hasn't. But as we have already discussed, the Japanese government has made solid efforts in making its traffic lights more compatible with foreigners who are used to the green light, not blue. The 1973 decree, which allowed Japanese traffic lights to have more greenish illumination, is a clear sign that Japan wants to abide by international standards and make their visitors feel more at home, while pleasing its own people at the same time. For Japanese residents who wish to acquire a driver's license, they are mandated to pass a vision test. During the test, their ability to identify three major colors will be tested. These three colors are their primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. There is no visual test for identifying the color green in Japan. In Japan, using blue to identify greenish colored objects isn't just limited to traffic lights. The A ah term can be used to describe pretty much anything that has shades of green on it. For example, A ah Shiba means blue lawns and A ah Ringo means blue apples. Also, there is the term lit or blue two-year-old, which translates to innocent child or child with no knowledge or experience. In Japan, blue is also used to signify calmness, fidelity, and passivity. It is a very popular color in Japanese attire. If you watch soccer, you would notice that the Japanese national soccer team is usually dressed in blue jerseys, even though their national flag is white and red. Besides soccer, blue is a common color for office workers to wear. As for university graduates, they wear blue recruitment suits when attending job interviews. As far as superstition goes, blue is among one of the lucky colors in Japan. White, yellow, red, green, and purple are the other lucky colors, but none of them are perceived as importantly as blue. That's why the soccer team wears blue, so luck can be on their side during matches. That's also the reason graduates wear blue suits to job interviews so they can be lucky enough to get the job. Now that you have a better understanding of the importance of the color blue in Japanese culture, you can understand why their government did not sign the Vienna Convention Treaty and change their traffic light from blue to green. Instead, they decided to add more green to the blue lights for the sake of foreigners. Up to this day, an American sees Japanese blue lights as green. We have spoken so much of how the Japanese revere the blue color, but this does not mean they despise green. 
It's just not as widely regarded as blue. You can find some green color on their clothing. And let's not forget the Japanese love tea leaves. Green tea has been a part of Japanese culture for thousands of years, and it remains so in the modern day. The Japanese people also believe green stands for eternity, youth, growth, and vibrancy. So, we have come to the end of this video, and now you know why Japanese blue looks green to Americans. There is no magic to it. All that had to be done was add more greenish illumination to the blue traffic lights so foreigners could perceive it as the regular green lights they are used to seeing in their home country. Have you seen a Japanese traffic light before? Did you ever suspect it was blue and not green? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.